Happy December, guys. If you saw the last one of these, you already know the drill. And if you're a new viewer, get ready to watch my cast of characters do segments. We will meet back here at the end for viewer questions. Laquisha's advice for keeping it real. What's cracking, babies? Your girl Laquisha is here to help y'all keep it real. This is a prime month for celebration for many different beliefs. I'll list all of them, but there's only one that I really care about, babies. And that's Christmas, sugars. Mainly because it's a celebration of Jesus. And you know your girl loves her some Jesus. Now, when you're with your families, be sure to be thankful for any gifts you received. Times is tough, and Christmas isn't about getting stuff. It's about celebrating another year of life with your family. So don't be greedy, babies. Because if I find out you're getting greedy, I will break into your house and leave a box for you under the tree. And when you open that box, it'll be a box full of spiders. And then they'll be crawling all up on your house. And then I'll be watching from the window laughing and putting your misery on Twitter. Don't try testing me on that, babies. Laquisha knows where to get more than enough spiders for everyone. Life advice from Stefan. If you don't know what to get someone for Christmas or the holidays, I suggest getting a big empty box and wrapping it. When the person opens it and finds out it's empty, tell them the gift was your financial stability by not buying them a gift. If they complain, then call them selfish and make them feel like a dick for not being considerate. And if they loved it, well then you're gonna feel like a dick for not getting them anything. Horoscopes from Miss Geo. I'm Miss Geo, Duchess of the Planets, and today I'm gonna give a horoscope on Sagittarius, or as I like to call them, that freaky horse fetish sign. Oh, oh. My yes, I'm getting a reading from Neptune. It's telling me that you should be wary of the eggnog. And that if you don't drink eggnog, then drink eggnog so you can be wary of it. Oh, and you will get what you've always wanted this month, but only half of it and it's not actually something you wanted. So if you want a flat screen TV, you can expect a dead rat or something. Enjoy! Heather's Gift Ideas Hi there everyone, I'm Heather, and I'm gonna give you a few holiday gift ideas. Okay, first up is a machete. Every girl needs one of these bad boys, whether it's from protecting your best friend or just cutting a bitch. Plus, you can bedazzle it to make it look gorgeous, and it'll match your outfit. Cutting skanks in style! Next up is a pair of Gucci shoes. Nothing says style like walking on some nice heels. You can be the envy of everyone. Plus, if anyone tries hitting on you, it'll be easy to take out his eyeball with one of these heels. I know, from personal experience. Last, we have a rocket launcher. Wanna join the next city riot? We'll bring this baby and you'll be the envy of the chaos. I doubt anyone will step up on you when you have this. There's also a holiday special sale. It comes with a Prada bag and a Sephora eyeliner. It's a good eyeliner too. Your eyes will pop as much as the bodies of anyone in front of you when you shoot a rocket at them. I hope this helped you guys. Happy killings! Food tip from Ed's bro. Hey Bruce, what's up? I'm here to give you some tips for the upcoming festivities. If you're like me, then you love to eat at the holidays, especially when the cooking's as good as it is, you can never get enough of it. So to make sure you can eat all you want, pros, make some pre-dinner appetizers, something simple and easy, but make sure you sprinkle some rat poison and some cleaning powder on them. So when your family and friends eat them, they get sick, and their stomachs will be too trapped to want to eat the dinner. That leaves you all the food you could ever want for yourself, bros. Beautiful places with Sobe. Okay, I'm not sure why I have to keep coming to these places, but apparently I'm in a desert. I'm not sure why. I was told I was going to Switzerland, but I'm going to choke whoever screwed that up. So, uh, yeah. Hottest balls here, and there's sand and, uh, nothing else. Oh my god, I hate this segment so much. No, I will not calm down. What does this have to do with the holidays? Oh god, here comes the heat stroke. This is Allison with cute things. You want to know what's cute? Pine trees! Right before all you selfish holiday asshats chopped them down to decorate while it slowly dies in your home! Holiday shame on you all! Holiday shame! This is Garrett, and these are things that piss me off. Wanna know what pisses me off around this time of year? Buying gifts for the selfish members of your family. It's bad enough you have to see their ungrateful faces, but now you also need to buy them something? And then they even have the nerve to do that fake tone of excitement when they open up your gift. Oh, I'm sorry, Carl. Were you expecting an iPhone? Maybe I should have gotten you some common decency instead. Oh, and another thing that pisses me off is when you receive a gym membership as a gift. It's practically like they're judging you for your weight or lack of muscle and when you eat extra cookies. My weight isn't the problem here, Uncle Keith. Your wife can't even walk up the stairs without looking like she just ran a marathon. Maybe that gift is better for her. Dark poetry with sunny. Chestnuts roasting, wine glasses toasting, snow is falling, the holiday is calling. Gifts are given as a sign of affection. You're about to get quite a fright. The present you're currently opening has active dynamite. 
politics with Pat. For some reason, I'm made to do this again. Since I didn't have that current topic to discuss offhand, I guess I'll just interview our president with some questions I made up. Hello? Do we have a connection? I can see you moving. Why aren't you speaking? You didn't introduce me correctly. Ugh. Please welcome President Trump. Happy to be back, tiny Asian girl. For the last time, I am not a girl. Don't get your stamp on in a twist. I assure you, I won't take you seriously no matter what gender you are. Oh my god, I can't believe I get stuck with this one. Okay, let's start with the questions. I would love to answer some questions. How has being the president changed your outlook on the world? Well, let me tell you something about being the president. It's kind of like finding out that the little blue icon for Twitter is actually a little bird. It's mind-blowing. Stay off of Twitter! Why should I? I have golden tweets. And most of my golden tweets are done on my golden toilet with my golden servant who wipes my ass with my golden toilet paper. Moving on. What sort of mark do you hope to leave on the country before your term ends? That's a great question. I hope to have as many Trump Towers on the border of Mexico as it takes to build the wall. And they will have light beacons shooting up so that from space, the towers can spell out the word HUGE. Why in God would you do that? So that it says HUGE as in HUGE WALL. I hate you. You know what? I don't appreciate your sexual advances during this whole interview. It's very unprofessional. I am a man, you long-winded Cheeto. Accept your identity, little Asian woman, and listen as I explain why Kellyanne Conway is actually a lizard person in disguise. Beauty tips from Maria. Hi there, holiday hippos. Someone much prettier than you is about to give you some beauty tips. Beauty tip number one. If you're going out of state for the holidays, make sure you bring lots of bags full of clothes for every occasion. Pictures are taken around this time of year, and you don't want to look like a hobo in them. Beauty tip number two. If you don't have the right shade of lipstick for that outfit you're wearing, just use permanent marker on your lips. And if you need another shade later, just use a different color. No must, no fuck. Beauty tip. Number three, if you don't have a boyfriend or a girlfriend to bring to your family, just hire a prostitute. It's a cheap, warm body to make your family seem like you're less lonely. Beauty tip number four, if you're shopping at a store, trying on clothes, and you can't fit into the size you know you are, yell at the store clerk and demand the reason why they're trying to make you seem like you're fat. Beauty tip number five, if you can't find a present for the man in your life, then just buy a dress in your size and give it to him. He will just have to give it to you since it would look hideous on him anyway. Zale reads viewer questions. Alrighty, without further delay, let's get those questions rolling. First one is from Colin the Protagonist, SPSF, and he asks, Who inspired you to make Plotagon videos in the first place? And will you make a mini-sode featuring me? Well, a channel here on YouTube called SimGM inspired me to make animated videos. They do these awesome Kardashian videos, you probably have already seen them, and their writing is amazing. As for featuring other people, I still need to work out some creative ideas in that. I'm gonna test something out very soon, so I'll inform you guys when I start featuring protagonists in any of my videos. Next question is from Jbro Films, and he asked, Hi, I am a turtle. Not really a question, but hi, I am Zale. Next up is Zachary Animations, and he asked, Will you ever make Maria throwing muffins again? Ah! And you will receive, Zach! Good God, I see you only come out of the woodwork when you're mentioned. Okay, I already did my segment, so quit being rude! Last up is Quincy the Animator, and his question was, What inspired you to join Podagon and go into storytelling? Well, I've always liked telling stories, but I didn't have the patience for writing books, so I wanted to do something with visuals, but I never had the talent to draw. And I discovered Plotagon this past July, and I loved it! It's a great resource to make up for my creative weakness. I know a lot more questions were asked, so I'm gonna release a Q&A video a few days after this to answer the rest of them. There's a good chunk to answer for each one, and I don't want to make this video too long. I also want to give a special shout out to the channels of the people whose questions I answered. Their channel links will be in the description below. Please visit them and give them lots of love. Oh, and I've also started a Twitter and an Instagram account, which will be in the description below with links or whatever they use. Yeah! Come see us update and stay in contact for future stuff. By the way, Sal, did you follow Starbucks on both of those accounts? No, Maria, I'm not doing that. First you put my song on the back burner, and then you won't even follow my favorite establishment? You are literally the worst! What do you want from me? Lyric changing is hard. Figure it out, nerd! Oh, don't forget to like and subscribe and share these videos with your friends. Don't bother! He's just gonna disappoint you like he does disappointing me! Maria! Maria!